Hi, this is Sahana. Our today's topic is Just-in-Time Compiler. So, what is Just-in-Time Compiler? It's a type of compiler that converts MSI to native machine code. Here, MSI stands for Microsoft Intermediate Language and it's a part of CLR. Let's go back and understand the workflow of .NET application so that it becomes easier to understand Just-in-Time Compiler. As you all know, we can write .NET application using different languages like C Sharp, F Sharp or VB.NET. When we build our application, the language specific compiler converts our high level language code to common intermediate language code. We also call this as Microsoft Intermediate Language Code or you can simply call it as Intermediate Language. Now, when you run your application, there comes the just-in-time compiler. This just-in-time compiler takes intermediate language code and converts it to native machine code, which a machine can understand easily. This is the typical .NET application workflow. In case of .NET applications, you can find two types of compilers. One is language-specific compiler and other one is just-in-time compiler. Just-in-time compiler is a part of common language runtime. In short, .NET application is compiled in two steps. Let's understand JIT compilation with this simple application. Here I have written a program. I have four methods, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Here, from this main method, I'm calling this add method. We have written this application using c -sharp. And c -sharp is a high-level language. When we build this application, the c -sharp compiler converts this high-level language code to intermediate language code and stores it in a DLL. If you want to know more about intermediate language, where it is stored and what are the advantages of intermediate language, then please visit my channel. There you will find a playlist named .NET Fundamentals. There you will find all the related videos. I'll mention the playlist link in the description. You can check the description. When we run this application, operating system loads the CLR into memory and the CLR is responsible for managing the execution of this application. As the application starts executing, CLR uses a JIT compiler to translate the IL code into native machine code. Here is an important thing to understand. The JIT compiler does not compile the entire assembly at once. Instead, it compiles the methods on a demand basis. If you look at this application, we have four different methods, but we are calling only single method that is add method. When the JIT compiler is called, it will compile only add method. It will not compile rest of the methods. And what it will do, it will compile the method and it will store that particular code in a memory. So that next time when you call add method, the same method will not be compiled again and it will be served from a cache. Next time, if you call a new method, subtract, and if it is not available in a cache, then it will go ahead and compile that method. If it is available in a cache, then it will serve that method from a cache. And the process of JIT compiling and then running the code is repeated until the execution is complete. JIT compilation offers several benefits like performance optimization. As JIT compilation allows the CLR to apply runtime specific optimizations, which leads to better performance on the target system. And security. Since the CLR generates and manages the native code, it can enforce security features like code access security and type safety. That's it for today's session. If you have subscribed to my channel, thanks for your support. If you are not and if you find the content useful, do consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for your time. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.